1,200 metres to cover. Racing. Kit Kat Katie, a little bit sluggish. Summer of dreams like Wild Spirit Princess lacks a bit of early pace in the early stages. Lady of Power out the stalls in a flash, off to the early lead over Silver Mensa, who races in second, the centre of the track. They've been followed by Berengari, who's also up the middle of the course. She's a Clava just off them. Then towards the outside, Rowan's Dream sticks to her station. Strange Magic and Wilkies are the next two. Over towards the far side, we have Memorial Day in the yellow colours, joined by Street Parade. Then comes Treaty, a couple of lanes away to French Kitten. COVID Action was next best. Then comes Kit Kat Katie and Spirit Princess. Through the final 600 metres they go, Silver Mensa is the one in front over Lady of Power, who races away in second. She's a Clava, is back in third. Then comes Street Parade. They followed further back and running by Summer of Dreams and Spirit Princess. Towards the final 300 metres, Silver Mensa has Lady of Power on the ropes. A few lengths away to Shava. They follow a treaty at Silver Mensa in the lead. Lady of Power trying to run on towards the outside. They will clear the rest of the field. Lady of Power, though, coming good. And Lady of Power draws away. Lady of Power, the winner, second Silver Mensa. Then came She's a Clava, and they were ahead of Spirit Princess. They were further back in the field. The winners in the blue and white. Gavin Lorena had to work on Lady of Power. 200 meters out, had Silver Mensa to get past. And it's often hard to get past Paul Peter Runners, especially with Kennedy on board. But Lady of Power just had an extra gear or two and will win the first race going away in pretty good style. The PA begins in the second race. That's due to get underway at quarter to one. Race number one has been run and won by the favourite, number five, and this is Lady of Power, daughter of Master of My Fate. Good to have uh, Joey Summer on course, as well as Gabby Summer and a whole host of owners, and that really was a great lead-in to be part of here this afternoon. Must mention Mr Armitage, who bred this one, and Gavin Lorena, who jumped aboard. Now, Gavin, obviously the horse had all the form there, but I must say, about the 400, we were a little bit worried, but uh, she found plenty. Yeah, she won a nice race today, Lyle. Um, she's a smart filly. Um, obviously, she, I'm sure she's looking for a bit more bit more ground but um she, you know she got out the gates well and she traveled beautifully for me uh, she got challenged very early in the race and um you know i just had to give her a breather and she came back nicely she won a very good race yeah, you enjoyed going past warren there at about the hundred saying goodbye didn't you it's always nice to go past anyone <laughs> <laughs> particularly warren though yeah. but uh gab lovely having all the owners on course as well yeah fantastic uh, thank god i won <laughs> yeah, a bit of pressure yeah, yeah but uh, fantastic to have all the owners on course big thank you to all of them great to to ride them a winner and um, well done to Mr. Soma, fantastic job, to Edward back at the yard, well done, to Julius who does a lot of work, uh, big thank you to all of them, it's a big te team effort there and it's just great to get the reward. You mustn't win the first race because you know I'm going to ask you, how's the track out there? It's nice Lyle, there's nice good, uh, you know there's good grass coverage, um, obviously it is firming up but uh, the grass coverage is still there. And then final question, can, can you give us your next best for today or next best too? Yeah, I've got some nice rides today. Um, Jimmy Don in the next mm. race, he was very yeah. green first time out. Um, I think you make nice natural improvement. It is quite an open race, but hoping for the best. And, uh, you know, Samoa at the back, she, she oh. never runs a bad race. You so. and her, eh? I love her. I love yeah, her. It's probably her a last start today. Yeah, oh, okay. We're off to that's start, so hopefully we can bring so another mare home. Thank you so much, Kevin. Well <laughs> Thank done. you. Big thanks to Volkerbos Drift and Mursen Tanezo. Here we go, Gavin. He's good at bringing those old girls home. Is Gavin? Uh, we saw Rouge Lou on Saturday. Gabby, you representing uh, Joey here and a uh, lovely horse and a lovely bunch of owners. Yeah, she is. She's a lovely horse, and Joe's always rated her very highly. So it's just lovely that she's able to bring her work to the track. Um, Joe and I really fancied this horse at the yearling sales. We made our top pick, and we're batting to put it together. And I just got to thank uh, Trevlin and Yagen for coming in the horse. Um, very special guys to race with. Lovely to be part of it, and uh, also well done to Roger Copen. Dale Lynch and Sammy, Gavin's as professional as ever, and then just a big thank you to Edward and Neville at the stable. Joe's been away in Durban, so it's just lovely they've been able to hold the fort for him. 
Joe's different class, don't have to say much about him. And just a special mention to my brother Dylan, this is his This is his, this is his baby. Eh? Correct. Just before you go, your first time in the next race, what do you He's think? He's a then? lovely horse, but like all Joe's first timers, probably need the run, but we're hoping for him to run into trifectas and quartets. Thank you. Well done, Gabby. Thank you. Said it all. Please, gentlemen, step in here. These are lucky owners, but I suppose we're more skill right here because this horse is a good one. Well done. Yeah, Congratulations. Just, thank you very much. I'd uh, just like to thank uh, Muzi who put us into this horse. Um, and uh, thank you to Mikitero. Well, you're a popular man right uh, now, aren't you? The red one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just to all our partners, uh, uh, the syndicate was put together, uh, a Kiston Racing Syndicate with some very good uh, cousins and friends up in Durban. And uh, our local boys, uh, Brian Covlin and, and Devon. Well done, guys. Uh, we love this horse from the start. Um, so, yeah, and Joey, thank you very much. Gavin, a great ride. To all our partners that came out today, our wives and all of that that's here to support us, uh, we think we're going to have lots of fun with this. So we got quite a few, and uh, I'll leave to Trevlin to say a few words. Thank you very much, Trevlin. just want to say well done to Colin, Gavin, Denzel, Craig, Kiston Pillay Racing Syndicate. Here we go. Here we go. Now, there's Thanks. a voice. You must come and present with us. There's 100%. a very strong voice. Eh? Perfect. Well done, sir, and lovely having you on course. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you so us. much. Well done, everyone out here. Really lovely. And uh, before, uh, behind every successful man, of course, the ladies outside looking so lovely. Well done, lady of power. She could be going places. We'll watch her with some keen interest. The numbers five, nine, eight, and ten. Good start for punters. We're going to get back to uh, Cecil Mtembu and the studio. And well, as we build up towards the PA and race number two.